I want you to sneak the jewellery into Carolina's trunk along with this letter. Can't I just hand them to her? You cannot! Under no circumstances must she find out who sent them. Otherwise the whole secret admirer ploy is fucked. Oh, and by the way, Henry, watch out for the butcher. He keeps a very close eye on his daughter, and if he catches you sniffing around, well, may all the saints preserve you. Once you've delivered the things, wait a day, and then come back and see me. Take care. I bear you a letter and a gift from a secret admirer. What? A gift? From me? Best keep your voice down. Papa will kill you if he finds out. Yes, for you. A necklace and this letter. Oh, it's gorgeous. Tell me, who is this secret admirer? Actually, it's me. You? I've never clapped eyes on you before. But am I not good enough for you? No. Yes. I mean, I just... Well, do I at least get a kiss? You can take that back. I'm no bathhouse wench who'll go with anyone who waves a piece of fancy jewellery under her nose. Even a nobleman. My virtue's more precious than gold. Farewell. God be you. I bear you a letter and a gift from a secret admirer. What? A gift? From me? Best keep your voice down. Papa will kill you if he finds out. Yes, for you. A necklace and this letter. Oh, it's gorgeous. Tell me, who is this secret admirer? It's young Lord Capon. What? Really? I can't imagine why you'd choose me. What would folks say? Well, if I were you, I'd look on it as an honour. Well, I've heard a thing or two about him. They say he's a seducer and a whoremonger. If I wear jewellery from him, word will soon get around and my family's honour will be in the mud. You can take that back. I'm no bathhouse wench who'll go with anyone who waves a piece of fancy jewellery under her nose. Even a nobleman. My virtue's more precious than gold. Farewell. Good luck, then. Greetings. What do you need? I delivered the things, as you asked. No luck. It seems she didn't want the jewellery. But Hans Capon doesn't give up at the first sign of defeat. What, you're going to go to the rendezvous anyway? Certainly not. I'm not going to pounce on her like a bull in rutting season. Her feelings must be allowed to mature gradually. Meanwhile, you'll get a potion for me. I thought you didn't believe in witches' brews. This is no witch's brew. It's an absolutely tried and tested elixir called Musk of Infinite Allure. There's a fellow in Sassau who sells it and he guarantees its success. I'm a little busy at the moment, though. Well, I'll let you off the hook this one time. After all, as I say, this affair must mature gradually. But bring me the potion when you can. And don't keep me waiting until I'm as old as Divish. Take care.